AMD has posted the official statement on the RX Vega pricing issue and it's not very encouraging. Instead of allaying fears that the standalone cards will be perpetually out of stock due to limited quantities and miners snatching them right up, the company has simply reiterated that they are doing their best to stock the entire lineup including the packs which were never out of stock in the first place. Welcome back to Catnip and today we bring you the reason why AMD's lead GPUs, the Vega cards are either out of stock or heavily inflated in pricing. So come on, let's learn together. Before we go any further, here is the official reply. Radeon RX Vega 64 demand continues to exceed expectations. AMD is working closely with its partners to address this demand. Our initial launch quantities included standalone Radeon RX Vega 64 at a price of $499, Radeon RX Vega 64 Black Packs at $599 and the RX Vega 64 Aqua Packs at $699. We are working with our partners to restock all SKUs of Radeon RX RX Vega 64 including the standalone cards and the gamer packs over the next few weeks and you should expect quantities of Vega to start arriving in the coming days. So what is the problem then? Well here is the thing, the RX Vega black pack includes two games for free along with the standalone card. Considering the games are really not free, a hundred dollar differential does not equate to free games and that there is no choice between the titles. This is basically the company forcing users to buy radium packs once the limited supply of the standalone RX Vega runs out. The supply of the standalone card was so low that Amazon did not even bother to list the card at all and it ran out of stock within minutes of the original launch. It is certain that even if AMD restocks the retailers, there will never be enough standalone Radeon RX Vega graphics cards to satisfy the demand and users will eventually be forced to go for Radeon packs, the cheapest of which consists of only two AAA titles for a $100 differential. Secondly, keep in mind that AMD hasn't stated anywhere in the statement that the restock will happen at the same prices as before, only that it will which means that they could end up increasing prices regardless as well. The reason that they are apparently giving for bundles two games is to scare off miners by forcing people to buy Radeon packs, but this is something that can easily be solved by limiting standalone GPUs to one PC per customer and is basically nothing more than a glorified excuse. It is an especially low blow because AMD stated that the entire point of the Vega delay was to accumulate stock for launch and yet we saw their entire inventory evaporated within minutes of launch, making it one of the worst stocked GPU launches in history. One thing is for sure however, if after the restock supply of RX Vega M56 evaporates just like before, every reviewer needs to update their conclusion based on new effective MSRPs. So that's it for now, we hope you liked the video and if you really did, please leave us a like below and consider subscribing to our catnip family if you haven't already. A million thanks to our subscribers and until next time, be prepared to be fascinated once again.